All right, take one. Time to bring it. Happy Tuesday. How we doing today? Okay, so I've been putting a lot of pressure on myself with this long form, so I'm not really going to like... I've been saying like I need to do like close to 10 minutes, so I don't know. I will uh, figure it out, I guess. Um, okay, so let's begin. We will start by talking a little crypto, I guess. Okay, so one thing people like to think about, look at those pineapple lids. Those things look good, don't they? Okay, so one thing people like to talk about is crypto is for scammers and stuff like that. That's fucking bullshit. That's absolutely bullshit. But I will say crypto is not something that you day trade. It fluctuates a lot, and if you like pay super close attention to it, it'll... That's not the way to do it. It's a long-term game with crypto, okay? Um, and I mean, okay, let's look look at it this way, okay? If you want to say it's a scam, that's bullshit, okay? So what gives the United States dollar its value? Because Nixon in 71 took the gold backing off of it. So the only reason it has a... Any value is because the United States government, a group of people, says that it has value, okay? So why does crypto have value? Because a smarter, more intelligent group of people, software engineers, the most intelligent fucking people in the world, say that it has value. It's the same concept, except this is the future, crypto is the future, government currencies are not. It's just the way it is. So like I said, double down on crypto... It is the future, all right? So, other than that, where am I at with everything? I am, uh, I'm really hacked, so I'm not really getting much traction on my YouTube channel. Um, I made this crazy post on Facebook this morning, and uh, it should have gone viral, but it got like two comments, which is kind of frustrating. Um, and I'm like so hacked, like I just got a new Apple ID, changed, changed up my Apple ID, which I think should be able to help, but... I can't, uh, can't do, there's a lot of shit I can't do on my phone right now, you know, so, uh, you know, this whole Web3 movement, I don't know if y'all knew this, but like, okay, so how did Instagram get started, okay? Literally, it was when Apple updated to the iPhone 4 and they put the new camera in the phone, and then that's what made Instagram blow the fuck up. Uh, I know it's like a risky plan, but with the whole Web3 movement, that's kind of like where I'm hoping... My show goes, I guess you could say. So, other than that, where am I with everything? Um, I got my fruit game yesterday at Publix. Um, other than that, I'm doing all right. Um, I've had a pretty good morning. I've listened to some great podcasts. Did some reading. Um, okay, next question. I got a question here. It says... Hey, Mr. Value Add, you seem like a super cool dude. Can you please tell us some other cool stuff that you've done? Yes, I can. Okay, so I will say, I guess this goes along like the making enemies line, I think. Um, so when I first got into the solar game, uh, I had a bunch of, like a bunch of connections on LinkedIn or whatever, so I, I I used to write blog posts a lot, and I used to do these ones called "For the Solar Mind," which is like based off Strategy Thirty, penetrate their minds, and uh, <laughs> and what I would do is uh, so the first one I was like wanting to I was like throwing a strategy one in Gulf Power, you know, because that was like who the power company was at the time. I was because like my goal was like all right, we're gonna take over the grid, you know. Uh, yeah, and I was like, and I, I, in the article, I said, you know, Gulf Power is going to be the next blockbuster. And uh, Gulf Power, after that article, shortly after, sold their company to FPL. So I think that was pretty smart of Gulf Power. And then, uh, and I didn't make any money off of it. You know, Web3, you know, like that would be like, I, that blog post would be worth something, you know, because that could be an NFT and that could be a valuable freaking blog post, okay? Um, and I might even get paid for it, you know? Um, what else? Oh, and then, like, the first one, okay, there, there was this one company, they're called Meraki. They're the freaking worst, man. They're the freaking worst, okay? And because they ripped people off, and they didn't just rip their customers off, they ripped off their reps, okay? Uh, 
like they were like okay like when I was going against them in a competitive deal I was selling for like five thousand dollars cheaper than their reps were getting their price point you know and then their reps would put on you know jack it up so I was like freaking forty thousand dollars cheaper than these people in every competitive deal like they're a freaking joke man and they were ripping people but the thing was and I tried to get like these lawyers to go class action against them because what they were doing is they were ripping people off they were instead of like selling a solution and giving people like one power bill that was cheaper than their current power bill they would stick them with two power bills that were like expensive as fuck because they didn't want to tell them about okay there's tier one and tier two um investment strategies is what i would call it and they would not sell anyone tier two because you had to have an extra million dollar home insurance policy put on your house and with the tier two system and uh they were ripping people off because they didn't want to have to say that in their sales pitch, you know. And they they were interviewed with this company. They said they weren't a solar company; they were a sales company, you know. Um, and I was like trying to get these lawyers to you know to, to help these people out, you know. Uh, and like I said, you know, I think nuclear power um, it would be a easier way to help all these people out, you know, because they're a pretty big company. And uh, that's just like one of the things they do to rip people off, man. And I'm not even just like talking shit, just like talk shit. I'm just like, talking shit because like that's like bad fucking business, you know. Um, yeah, so like right off rip, like I was like bashing this company because you know they're freaking scumbags, man. Like, uh, yeah. Okay, so next question. Hey, Mr. Value Add, what's your favorite TV show? I don't watch TV, man. I've probably watched like. I don't know, maybe like three hours. Of, I don't know. I don't watch TV. Um, but if you're wondering if I've seen the show Billions, yes, I've seen it multiple times. And I also kind of like House of Cards. <laughs> okay. Uh, and final question for the day. I know I'm like not crushing it right now at this time, but uh, can you give us a book review for someone considering a tech startup? A tech startup? Okay, um, I will go with, uh, The Lean Startup by Eric Rise, Eric Reed, Eric Rise. It's an excellent book. Um, it's a little bit older, but I think it's still relevant. And I think for someone considering a tech startup, that would be an excellent book for the whole team to read. Okay. And I guess I'll finish with, uh, yeah, I'm a little frustrated also, I want to say, because, you know, hacking in Florida is illegal, you know? And I, like, post to Facebook and shit, like, yo, law enforcement, you know, what's up? Can I get some help? I'm getting hacked, you know? And they don't do a fucking thing, you know? It's bullshit, but I don't know. Inflection points, you know? Um, so, yeah, uh, I might go to the mall or something today, maybe get a Starbucks dragon fruit drink. I freaking love those things. So... Other than that, Pensacola, I think, would be a great place for a nuclear power plant because there's, like, a lot of scumbags that live here. Um, not everybody, obviously, you know, but there's a shitload of them, so. Anyways, thank you for taking the time to watch my show today, and remember that I love you and that you, you, I'm talking to you, you can be what you will to be.